As we prepare to go to our Heavenly Father in prayer, Psalms 37 and 5 says, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Let us bow. All wise and all knowing and all powerful God, we come before you just thanking you so much for being who you are and allowing us to be who we are. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for a day that was not promised. We thank you for waking us up out of a dying bed. We come, Heavenly Father, most of all, thanking you for your darling son who gave his life on Calvary Cross that we might have life more abundantly in his name. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the engrafted word which saves souls. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, for pricking our hearts to obey that engrafted word. We come now, Heavenly Father, just thanking you so much for our minister, Brother Ben Foster, who will come shortly to break among us the, the bread of life. We pray, Heavenly Father, that someone listening, they would, they would want to know what must they do to be, be saved before it's everlasting, eternally too late. We come now, Heavenly Father, asking that every member be vigilant in spreading the gospel, evangelizing, and letting the lost and dying world know that Jesus is on the throne and he is our Lord and Savior. Jesus give us love, he give us peace, and he give us joy. Heavenly Father, if any among us have sinned, we ask Heavenly Father for forgiveness of our sin according to the tender mercy and loving kindness. Because when we sin, Heavenly Father, we sin against you only. We come, Heavenly Father, asking that creating us a new heart and placing us a right spirit, that all the things we do and say might be pleasing and acceptable unto you. We lift up all those, Heavenly Father, now that are suffering loss of loved ones due to the COVID virus. Heavenly Father, we know they are lamenting and they are full of grief and pain. And Heavenly Father, we pray they'll be comforted by word or by deed according to your will. Be with all those on the front line. We ask for your divine protection for them, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, we ask special prayers for our leaders that they'll lead us in the, in the right way that we should go as far as humanity. But we, make, we must know, Heavenly Father, we must trust in you and you only. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except by him. The conclusion of the whole matter is that fear God, keep his commandments, for that's the whole duty of man. It's in the name of Jesus we offer this prayer. Amen.